the general style of Margaret Thatcher is a very exact, so it's sort of not a hair out of place type style. She was very conscious of the fact that she was the one and only woman. She wanted to look extremely good and very distinctive. On the other hand, she wanted it to be fundamentally conventional because she wasn't trying to shock people. Uh, and she also wanted it to be um, internationally appropriate. What was the Lady Thatcher that I saw that came in for her fittings? Would come? She was everything that you would expect as the public. Immaculate hair, immaculate makeup. In private, she was exactly the same as in public. That formality never ever left. She was extremely professional and she was very professional about her clothes. The things I remember about drawing Mrs. Thatcher, I did deliberately draw her always looking rather fierce and um, sort of uh, authoritative, but with a hint of panic in her eye, a, a slight feeling this could all go wrong, as if it was a dangerous game she was playing. I don't think I ever could say that this was completely expressed, but it was in my mind while I was drawing her. She was a sort of high wire rat sometimes that made her very amusing. Sometimes politics is great theatre, and she was really good theatre. Lady Thatcher was the first Prime Minister in the UK that was actually media packaged. It was the first time that you had somebody speaking constantly on television, constantly travelling. We had an expectation as a public of a strong Prime Minister. She delivered. Possibly Mrs. Thatcher's most important foreign visit uh, in her whole career was her visit to Moscow in March 1987. It was a key moment in her salience in bringing the Cold War to an end. She worked very carefully about what she should wear and she sort of played on the Russian theme. And you can see the pictures of her. And this was very much a public visit. She was dressing as a political tool. She always had a smart handbag and she usually, obviously in the evening she'd have a clutch bag, but for working purposes she'd have one on her with a handle. An extraordinary thing she'd have in it, like a 1944 employment white paper, which she wished to wave for some reason, or a speech by Abraham Lincoln. After the Brighton bomb she always had a torch in it because she was frightened of a terrorist attack and the lights going out and she being left in the dark, so she actually had a, had a torch. She was very much the same always, and the one concession that Mrs. Thatcher would make to informality was to take off her patent leather shoes and put her legs up on the sofa, but even then she'd probably be working. She was the ultimate working woman, one must always remember that.